This is Rodney Harris for the reporter online.com and the Akron Today Show reporting live here down at Akron U at the first since 1998, the first City Series football championship game between the Book of Griffins, 8-2 and two overall and 6-0 and oh in the city, and the East Orientals, 4-6 and six overall and 4-2 and two in the city. These teams played a couple of weeks ago. It was a great game. Booked to win that game 14 to 6. Looking forward to a great game down here at Akron U. Rodney Harris, the reporteronline.com. Rodney Harris, reporter online. Uh, this game is almost over, but I'm standing here with the sponsors of tonight's game, a championship game. The first one since 1998. Uh, gentlemen, Tell us, first of all, who you are, where you're from, and why you decided to do the game. My name is Austin Clopton. Um, I'm here from Akron, Ohio. I went to Garfield High School, and I went to Tiffin University, and I graduated in 2007. Steve Reynolds, uh, CEO of MKU, um, Akron, Ohio, Bethel Griffin. We, went up, we won it today, so I'm pretty, pretty happy. Thomas Shaw, Akron, Ohio, Bukto grad. I am MKU business strategist. And uh, we wanted to put this game on so the kids can have an additional game. And uh, we get some city series, uh, get the city series hype. Bring back the hype, to, hypeness to the city series. Okay, and, and I see this beautiful trophy yes, that y'all got. You sure that'll fit in the high school trophy case? Hey, somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere, definitely somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. Maybe in the coach's office. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I know you guys are doing other things around Akron, too. Y'all doing, like, some all-star games? Yes. We have a, we have a middle school, uh, eighth grade all-star game this Sunday, um, 6 p.m. at St. Vincent St. Mary High School. Um, we, we went out and had kids nominate. Uh, coaches nominate kids for uh, all around Summit County. So uh, we got about 51 kids that will be participating in the All-Star game this Sunday night um, at St. Vincent St. Mary. And um, we, we, we really feel we got some of the best kids around the area that's participating in the game tonight. Okay, and now y'all got a nice crowd turnout too. You know, I, I like to say just from Akron. I appreciate y'all doing this. But y'all had another sponsor too, right? Is it just y'all? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to let y'all go, but tell us the process. Did y'all go to the Board of Education and say, let's do this? Or? Well, I actually played a 1998 game against this guy. It was Butto and uh, Garfield. Garfield. It was Butto and Garfield. I actually played. And... Uh, I brought it to the Akron Public Schools to say, hey, let's bring this game back, but let's bring it back with something bigger and better. Because we were just like how this Butler Griff team is this year. We were 7-3, and three, thought we was going to the playoffs, we didn't make it, and we had to play in the city championship game, and we was like, we don't want to do it. So I said, hey, let's make this game big to where if the kids make it or do not make it to the playoffs, that they appreciate the city game. So let's do trophies, let's do MVP, let's bring everybody here. This is a city game. It's not just about the two best teams. Let's recognize the whole city because there's kids that's out there for different programs and everything else. So they loved it and here we are and we're gonna keep doing this uh, forever. Okay, keep up the good work. I see we got two. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 
hold that, right there, hold that one. Hold it, hold it. Bernie is a goof. Bernie, Yeah, I'm standing here with Coach. Um, tell me what you said to your team after the game. Well, the first thing I wanted to tell uh, the seniors, I asked them to stand up, and I just told them that I love you guys because uh, they were the first group of guys that came when I took over the program. Uh, so they were with us through an 0 and 10 season. Uh, and I told them before the game, I said, hey, you guys literally started from the bottom. And in your last high school game, you guys get to go out and play for a title. I said, that's a heck of a story for you guys to tell. But I told them, I said, don't don't hold your heads down because you guys, it, it was one heck of a ride. I say, we had we had a so very young team this year. Uh, freshman at quarterback, uh, four sophomores on offensive line, just things that normally, you know, you, you kind of wouldn't want to see out there. But it was what we had and we battled with it. And. And we got a chance to play for the Foot of City title tonight. And uh, it didn't happen for us, but I just wanted those guys to know that, you know what, uh, I'll forever remember them because they, they mean so much to me. It's, it, it's, it's so much more than just football, so much more than just football uh, with me and those young men. And, and they know that. And that's why a lot of our young men always come back to cheer these guys on. And, and it's going to continue to be that way. And I know you had the uh, seniors and some of the junior captains stand up and tell the team, you know, keep your head up, uh, be strong, and come back next year. So you you looking to come back next year and play for the title? Yes, most definitely. I mean, every year we want to be competitive in this league. This league is a tough league. Uh, you know, teams are going to get better every year. Um, but we're going to get better, too. Uh, we're going to make sure we meet the needs of, of, of everybody that we have on our squad to put ourselves in the best position to make sure that we're fighting for a title along with everybody else next year. Okay, and I know you took a loss tonight, but uh, congratulations for being Coach of the Year this year. You know, we followed y'all a couple times this year, uh, seeing that great comeback against Garfield. So keep doing a, a great you. job. Thank you. Rodney Harris, reporter. We'll see.